change your heart, change your life, change the planet. Hey everybody, it's Tim Van Orden, and today I want to talk about being vegan at a friend's non-vegan dinner party. This is something that I've experienced a great deal in my life, and I hear about it a lot with some of the people that I work with. You go to a friend's house, they've made this great meal, there's nothing for you to eat, what do you do? Do you not eat anything? Or do you give in, let go of your vegan commitment, and nibble on something that you normally wouldn't eat? This is a question that a lot of people have, and a predicament that many people find themselves in. Sometimes you get into a fight because you're talking about why you can't eat the food, and the person is offended, and, and it just gets ugly, and they never invite you back. When I first went raw, I noticed that a lot of my friends, even vegan friends, stopped inviting me out for their gatherings because in their mind, there was nothing I could eat or that was just a way for them not to have to address the fact that I was eating a diet that was about a commitment to extreme health because maybe they just wanted to go out and have comfort food and drinks and enjoy themselves and not think about their health. In fact, for a lot of people, eating is about avoiding or forgetting about what's going on in your life, forgetting about the important stuff and allowing yourself to indulge and just enjoy the moment and let it all go. Dinner and drinks. So the strategy that I have in this situation is to always bring my own food, but not just bring food for myself but bring a dish or two or three that are really good, probably better than I would normally prepare for myself because I tend to eat kind of bland. Make a killer salad and bring enough for everybody to try, even if none of them eat it. So often I will make a salad and I'll make a dessert, enough for everybody that's gonna be there and I might be the only one eating it and that's fine. This way, there never needs to be a conversation about can I eat anything because I brought my own food and it's not a conversation about me not fitting in, me not contributing to the group because I brought enough to share. And if I brought a killer recipe, chances are people are actually going to eat some of it and enjoy it. I've got a friend who's a hunter. He has dinner parties on a regular basis and there's going to be venison or turkey or some kind of animal food that is going to be served up every single time and I always say I will bring the salad. So I know a lot of people who eat a vegan diet wouldn't want to go at all. They're like why would I want to be around people that eat meat? Well because you live in a world that is primarily filled with people that eat animal products and unless you want to live in a tiny little bubble you've got to find a way to be around people that make different choices than you do. And the thing you discover is that when you go to one of these events as a contributor rather than as simply a consumer, you don't have to talk about diet at all. There's no awkward conversation about diet. And you get to talk about other things. And you find out that even though these people make very different dietary choices than you do, you have a lot in common. But if the focus is on diet, you don't get to see that. You don't get to see that these are also human beings that you can relate to on many levels and that they can relate to you on many levels. Maybe they'll influence you in some ways. Maybe you'll influence them. But if you put up this strict dietary boundary and say, I cannot go to a dinner party where animal products are being served, or I cannot hang out with people who are eating animal products, then you're really limiting yourself and you're creating boundaries that aren't necessarily representative of who you are and who they are. You're just being measured on one dimension. Uh, and nobody is one dimensional. We all have lots of different dimensions of being. So by letting people know that I'm going to bring my own food and I'm gonna bring enough to share, nobody's worried about what I'm going to eat People often try what I bring, and they often like it, and then they ask me questions about it, and then I get to talk about my diet if they truly are curious, and sometimes they are, so I'm not going to talk about it unless they ask, 
and they often do because it's a really good salad or it's a really good dessert. So rather than it being an awkward situation that I'm trying to somehow fit into or survive, it turns out to be a very positive experience where we talk about all kinds of things and we can relate to each other as human beings because that is a category that we all do share so let's explore how we are alike within that category rather than trying to look at how we are different in others okay hope there's some value in there for you let me know what your favorite recipes are to bring to dinner parties as a vegan if you have them and if you want a salad recipe or a dessert recipe let me know in the comments below. Maybe somebody else would share and I'll give you my salad recipe as well. Okay, I hope that helps. I'll see you soon.